Hi everybody, it is Miss Matsi, and I wanted to talk to you about the scientific method project that we're going to be working on this week. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different where you're going to have a lot of choice and say in how you're going to be learning things, and you're going to have choice in how you show what you've learned. Now, don't worry, you're not just going to be learning all on your own. We are going to take some time where um, I'm teaching you also, and I make sure that everybody's learning the objectives that we're going to be looking at this week. But let's take a look at the instructions real quick. So this is what you'll see in your Google Classroom, and these are the instructions for this week's project, the Scientific Method Project. You can see that there are some really important documents here, like learning options when you click on that. It opens up to this link here, and so this has objectives, the objectives that we're trying to make sure that you learn this week, things like I can measure mass and volume of regular and irregular shaped objects and calculate de density without being given a formula. And then you see, um, as you go across that row, you have different options for how you can learn this. You can watch one of these four videos here, or if you'd rather just read the textbook and take notes, you can read the textbook. I give um, some of the pages here. If you want to read an article about how density is affecting our Earth, you can read that article. Or um, if you wanted to just look at um, the encyclopedia to get a definition, you could do that over here on the website. Um, or this is a simulation here, the um, FET Colorado Density Simulation. We're actually doing an online lab looking at density. So you might only choose one of these because maybe you already have a lot of background knowledge in that area, or you might end up looking at a whole bunch of them. That's up to you. But once you've done that, you want to make sure that you enter your learning into the learning log. So the learning log is specific to you, and this is going to be graded. You're going to be turning it in. So for each of the objectives, you want to be putting in what resource did you use, so what video did you watch, or what website or article did you read, what did you learn from it, and would you recommend this resource to a classmate? So once you've gone through the learning and you've, um, you feel like you have a good handle on the four different objectives, then what you're going to do next is you would um, look at choosing a project option. So to choose a project option, you would go to project options, and you see you have these eight different options here. You could make a thing link. And if you don't know what that is, just click on Video Tutorial and that will help you. You could make a Google presentation. You could do Adobe Spark. Again, look at the tutorials if you need to. Now, if you don't feel like being totally online digital, you could just make a um, traditional poster with um, paper and pen, pencil, marker, whatever you use. Maybe you're feeling in the mood to be a teacher, so you could write a test, but make sure you provide an answer key. You can use Haiku Deck you could write an essay so maybe you just really want to go old school again and you type out an essay explaining the different concepts in this project but don't forget to cite your sources and you can cite your sources from the um, sources that I've provided you here, or you're also welcome to um, research your own sources as well. Maybe you're feeling like you're in a really creative mood, you can make one of these Powtoon cartoons to go through um, each thing. You might also want to break up the objectives, and that's fine. So if you have like two different um, ways that you're showing your learning, that's totally okay as well. So this is all about your learning, you documenting your learning, you're using a creative way to show what you've learned, and then reflecting on it. So let's look at the reflection question. So here we are again at the learning log, and if you click reflection, It'll bring you down to the bottom of this page. It's on the same page as your learning log. And this is your reflection assignment. This is also part of your grade. You're going to create a reflection. It could be written. You could be talking a vid in a video like I am now, and I can definitely show you how to do that. You could do a podcast where you're just talking, but your face isn't showing at all. Or you could do a mind map, sort of like the concept map that we did last week, on 
how you learned the objectives for this week. Like, what did you do? What was your process? And so I give you a whole bunch of questions to guide your thinking in that. What was your process? What did you enjoy? What didn't work very well for you? What would you do differently next time? What did you do when you got stuck? How did you go about getting help? How did you motivate yourself? That's a big thing. If you procrastinated at all, how did you um, get back on track? What distracted you? And so on. So you can read through, through those questions to see what they are. Now, an important thing before you submit is to take a look at the rubric, and that's hyperlinked. And this is the rubric here. So the rubric is, um, this is a single point rubric. So for each objective, I'll write that in so that's clear. So for each objective that you are working on this week, this is your target right here. This is what I'm gonna be assessing you on. So for the density objective, I'm looking for in your project that you demonstrate knowledge of density and the ability to calculate the density of an irregularly shaped object. When I grade this, I'm going to be um, giving you feedback on things that you could improve on to show that in your project and things that were really amazing. All right, so you've gotten in, you've done the learning, you've documented it. Um, and again, you can document your learning. If you like to take notes in a notebook, you can definitely um, take a picture of that and then document that into your learning log. Sorry, I'm lo losing things. Um, and so you've learned, you've logged your learning, you've done the project, you're happy with it, it's pretty creative, and you've done the reflection. So now it's time for you to submit. The, link to submit is in a couple different places but it's in the project options page so when you look right here on the project options tool to create it says turn in your creations here you want to click that link and then if you are interested um, to see what other students are submitting you can click here to see other people's projects and that'll take you to a um, google sheets Right now it's empty because nobody has done anything yet because we haven't started. Ooh, one other thing on the learning options. You see over here it says book. So for some of these um, objectives, there's a book on here. It's by Carl Sagan, who's a famous um, scientist who passed away several years ago, but he wrote a book called The Demon Haunted World. And we actually have that book in the classroom. If you're a voracious reader, if you really like reading, then you can borrow this book while you're in the classroom, read through it. It's not even necessary for you to read the whole thing to really get like a gist of um, what's happening in this book. This is a really good book, so if you're into reading, you might want to consider look, taking a look at this. All right, that's it. I'm really excited about this project. I'm really excited about giving you your own choice and giving you space to sort of work with your own process. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And um, other than that, good luck, good work.